Hello, Retro Night Gaming crew. Uh, we got another video. We are going to be going over how to turn on Save State Manager and save and load games from the Save State. Um, any system that uses RetroArch emulators um, has the ability to save your game. Now, this is something that is outside the standard um, saving feature that some systems have, such as Dreamcast and such, uh, have saving features within the actual system itself, within the emulator itself. But if it is a RetroArch emulator, you also have the ability to save states. Um, so we're going to go over briefly how to do that. Um, the first thing I want to show you how to do is how to turn on the save state man manager. The great thing about the save state manager is it allows you to see your save states when there are save states for a game. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, hit the start button and you're going to go to game settings and you're going to go up. I scroll from the bottom side up. You can scroll from the top side down, but you, there's a section called save states. All right. So you can actually uh, have it automatically save you know, auto save and load save states. I don't usually do that, but the one we're looking at is show save state manager. A lot of people don't know that Batisera has, has added this a while back. It's a really nice feature um, because what you can do is you go in and you can either set it to always show um, save states or don't show them at all. Or if not empty, I set it to if not empty because that way then, when you load a game where a, that has a save state, you'll see the save state manager and it will ask you, do you want to load from a save state? Do you want to delete them? Or do you want to start a new game? But at least it lets you know that they're there. And that's a nice feature. But if there aren't any there, then I don't want them to show it to me. So that's why I don't have always on. I have if not empty. All right. So we're going to do that first. Go into game settings. Go down to save states. Hit show save state manager. Select if not empty. All right, so then what we're going to do, we're going to go in and we're going to create a save state so that we have something that I can demo to you. So we'll just go into this 3D World Runner game, go ahead and load it up. Okay, now um, to create a save state, you're going to hit the hotkey, which is it should be your select button, and you're going to um, hit the, I mean, we're going by Batisera. So now Batisera uses um, compass positions for the four buttons, uh, the four main buttons, A, B, X, and Y. Okay. So this would be, we're going to hit select and we're going to hit the West button. Okay. Um, which would normally be your, um, the reason why they did this has to do with uh, Xbox controllers and Super NES controllers. There's a difference in the positions between A, B, and X, and Y. Okay. So, um, you know, one person's X, maybe another person's Y, if you're either used to using Xbox controllers or used to using other controllers like Super NES. So we'll just use the position, the compass position to keep it simple so there's no confusion. So to create a save state, we're going to hold down select and we're going to hit the West button. Okay, you see there it says save state to slot one. All right. And while we're sitting here, we'll make another one just for the heck of it. So we'll do another save state. There we go. Slot two. All right, so let's exit out of the game. And now we're going to go back in, and here we go. I Now it shows me uh, I have two slots, and that's the great thing about the Save State Manager. Then you know if you saved a game there, and you can load them, or you can start a new game, or you can delete them, which is also great. You know, so, you know, that's... You know, as I'm just going to delete them because I'm not going to keep them on my particular build, but that is a really nice option. Now, that's the save state manager. Let's go in and start a new game. I'm going to show you one additional way to save and load things. Now, if you want to do it the old fashioned way, you create a save state by once again hitting select and the West button. All right. If I want to load the game, let's say I have shut down. I'm going to go back in. All right, I'm going to start a new game, but I'm going to load the old fashioned way. Let's pretend I don't have the save state manager. And for those of you that don't want to use it, um, I would hit select and the north button. And now it is loaded state from slot one. So that was the old way of doing it. You would do one single save state and then you could load the last save state. But there's one additional way that you can actually handle all your save positions is you hold down select, 
hit the south button, which opens up RetroArch, okay? In RetroArch, you have pretty much options to do anything you want with the game, okay? I'm not going to do a video about RetroArch today. We're only going to be talking about save states. I could I could do a, you know, two-hour video explaining RetroArch and all the things you can do with it. But if you notice here, this brings us to the quick menu. Uh, when you hit hold down the hotkey and you hit the south button and you have state slots, you have save state, load state, and undo load state and undo save state. So that's another way to do it. You can actually create save states here. You can load them, you know, and there you go, it loads. Um, so those are your different saving options. But honestly, guys, I just recommend do what I explained in the beginning of the video, turn on your save state manager, and then you actually, you have the ability to see all your save states and you can manage them right here from the save state manager. Um, easiest way to do it. And then, you know, you have access to all the save states. Um, that's it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.